Okay, so we're getting close to actually getting up on the roof and starting to put some solar panels up there, and I got a big change of plans. So I got clearance from the wife to put uh, the panels on the south facing roof here on the garage. We'll blow this up in a second. That means it's a bigger roof and it's facing south, so that's great. So I did have 4140 watts, and we're going to do times two and have two rows of 12 panels, which will get us to 8,280 watts, so double in the size of it. Uh, I'll have the same inverter output. The battery bank, I'm going to go ahead and double that too, from 370 amp hours up to uh, 740 amp hours. So same thing times two. Uh, the other thing I'll have to add will be uh, another PT100 charger from Magnum Energy. So we should be able to double uh, the amount of uh, production per day. Somewhere around here is what I'm estimating, but we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, and of course the price now will go up. After rebates, I'm shooting for 19000 I think uh, uh, probably come in between seventeen and 19000 hopefully, after rebates. So that's just the big picture there. When we zoom in a bit, it used to be the panels were going to be on the second story roof, and we're going to go through the attic and down the walls. It was going to be a lot harder to get this over to where the power wall is. Now, with all the panels right here on that same roof, they just drop down right into it pretty much. So we're cutting a whole lot of wire out of here. And it'll just be a lot easier to do because I won't have to go through all this, which I wasn't looking forward to. So that's good. Uh, otherwise, most of the stuff is going to be the same. We'll have two combiner boxes instead of one. So basically doubling the panels, doubling the battery, adding another charger and another combiner box, moving everything over to a south facing wall. Those are the big changes. Power wall will now look like this. So this will just add the one PT100 charge controller. Everything else was designed to be expanded up to three of these. That's part of my deal, though, is I had to give up the third one. So there's very little, if no, possibility of ever going to three now, because that was my deal to get these to put them on the south-facing roof. I think it's worth it. This is all the same. This is all the same. Pretty much the same. Okay, we come down the same panels. This got changed a little bit, just doubled basically. So it's just, uh, you know, two arrays of 12 panels, which gets you this new estimate. Okay, uh, here's how it's going to look. This, um, this is what the roof, the, the red outline would be the roof, the edge of the roof and the blue is all the panels and this red are the connection points with the iron ridge flash foot one thing is I ordered the flash foot one and then they went to the flash foot two which is what I got now so I'll have flash foot ones holding this section down and flash foot two on this section so I'll be able to do a good comparison of you know how hard are they to install and we'll see how they last over time because we'll be installed at the same time on the same roof same environment be a good comparison. One issue I came up was how close I could get the panels to the edge of the roof. And um, what we determined was it doesn't really matter that much except for you just look at the z wind zone you're in and the stuff that's close to the edge, I think it's within three feet, is wind zone two. And then you just go to the tables and make sure that your uplifts are are good enough for that and these are like double what they need to be so should not be an issue but anyway that's pretty much it they'll have splices in here and uh, the rails will just be longer I think about 40 feet long plenty of room on either side for firefighters to get up and down the roof and this is just a little detail this is what I'm going to use when I actually climb up there and start drilling holes uh, it'll be something like this, but I might have to adjust it a little bit depending on where this falls on the shingle itself. Okay, and this just shows how they're going to be wired. So it'll be like one bank of four here. So you one, two, three, four. 
wired in series. And then you got another one here of four. And then four more here. So it's one, two, three banks. And that'll go down into a charge controller. I'll probably do a roof penetration right here. Tie up all the wires in the middle somewhere, or maybe just on each rail, like that rail and that rail. Run through the roof penetration through the attic, and uh, it'll be real easy to get into my uh, combiner boxes. Okay, so that brings me to the bill of materials. So I had to double the number of solar panels. There's 24 instead of 12. Double all this railing from Iron Ridge. Got the latest and greatest stuff there. Uh, same inverters, same enclosures, same router. Uh, added one of the PT100 charge controllers, so that adds a bit. Um, nothing here, another um, up to 16 of the Trojan L16RE-Bs. So that was a significant increase in the price there. All this stuff is the same. I added one more surge protector for the, this is the Midnight Solar surge protector for the combiner box. Just added one more there. I had enough, I uh, actually had to add another um, three cables here, so I got six of the 100 footers, so I can do both strings. I had enough of this stuff. Now I actually have too much because I'm not stretching all the way over to the other roof. And another set of battery cables and terminals. So that's two now. Uh, add to add some of the breakers for the combiner box, another input, another output. But uh, I think that's pretty much it. Here's another combiner box. These things are kind of pricey. This is the 250 Disco. So you can put three of the 300 volt breakers in there. And I think that's about it. And I upped this a little bit and stuff too. So my new budget is 28000 less the 30% discount, which is the tax incentive put me at 19686 All right, so uh, that's the new plan. And going to get started on this. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.